Baldur's Gate 3 is a great game, even if certain Spider-Man fans don't seem to think so. <gasps> Let's get those likes going right away. Mods can make it even better, allowing you to shape the game exactly as you want. Like making Shadowheart yassified and handsome. Unfortunately for Mac users, installing mods isn't as trivial as it is on PC, since most mod managers are Windows exclusive. So harder than voting on the polls that I have on my community tab, where my subscribers voted to have Yu-Gi-Oh! life points be the custom action resource points that I show you all how to add to your classes in future videos. This is I'm a Dr. Nada, and today we're going to learn how to install mods for Baldur's Gate 3 on Mac, giving you options to make your game better regardless of the operating system. Do you want Baldur's Gate 3 mods on your Mac? Because that's how you get Baldur's Gate 3 mods on your Mac. After downloading something from Nexus Mods, it's easy to get overwhelmed with all the different files that you can get, particularly where you would even put them. This is the case regardless of operating system, but it's even harder for Macs. Tell me in the video comments what you think about playing games on a Mac. Fortunately, another mod author, MK Infrared, has got you covered. They gloriously put the time in to make a Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager for Mac so you can install your mods more easily, making them even more accessible. And there are only two steps to make it work, not including launching the game once. Stay until the end because there's one large caveat. First, go to the folder on this screen and open the modsettings.lsx file using a text editor. Then close it. That's it! As easy as installing Baldasteria. <laughs> Step 2 is a bit more involved. Go to the GitHub page for Mark Infrared's Mod Manager and download the most recent release, which is version 1.5.0. I put the link in the video description. For folks who are appropriately careful about what they download onto their computers, I scanned it with virus total and everything came back green. Once downloaded, run the DMG file and then drag it into your applications folder. If you try launching the application now, Tim Cook Dirge will get sad that you weren't launching an official Mac program and refuse to let you mod the game. This is because Mark Infrared isn't an official Mac developer, so the application doesn't have a digital signature. To bypass this, open up System Preferences, go to Security and Privacy, scroll down, then click the Open Anyway button that should be below where it says Application Blocked. Thought that was easy? That was fortunately the most difficult part of this video. Step 3 is the fun part, where you install your mods. Like the Bard Music Replacer, Pokemon Edition. Let me know in the video comments the mods you want to install. For this video, we're going to install my Mixie subclass mod, which I made with my mod making program Polymath that's available on Nexus, which you can download at the video description. Sadly though, again because of Tim Cook, it can only really be effectively run on PC. If you start with a pack folder like I was, you put the pack folder into its own folder and then zip it and then you just load the zip file into the mod manager. Nexus makes it easy because it'll give you a zip folder right away that you can just load in. Then all you have to do is click install and you are ready. Earlier in the video I said that there was one major caveat to installing mods on Mac. No. It's not Tim Cook magically teleporting behind you and breathing down your neck when he detects you doing something that's not going to earn Apple money. The Nautiloid in the room is Script Extender. Sadly, there's no real way to make it work on Mac. And it's required for some, but not all mods. I myself only play on PC, not cross-platform when traveling because some difficulty mods that I use require it. But this issue will not exist forever. Larian plans to officially add mod support at some point, and this might resolve this issue. Regardless, it is a point of consideration for now, and some mods that you download may unleash the dirge. In this video, you saw how easy it is to install mods on Mac like the Dagoth-Ur Astarian voice replacer for you other Scrolls fans. 
be excited because mod authors make so much exciting content, letting you personalize your experience, including me. So support me on my Patreon and get additional voting power for what you want to see next from me. You may not be able to run Script Extender on Mac, but there's still so much that you can run, so look around. Be sure to like and subscribe to stay connected to my modding content, and let me know if there's another tutorial that you'd like to see that's beyond what I've already suggested in the past. Thanks for watching, and Starship out. You're addressing me, a humble ox. How quaint. <laughs>